Welcome to the Navy Sports Magazine. It's presented by the Navy Federal Credit Union. Wrestling heads for the EIWA Championships this week. Chance now to talk to Andrew Cerniglia. Andrew, obviously, let's backtrack here a week and a half. Uh, the fact that you guys, uh, as a group, collectively, you know, as individuals came together to produce a team victory over Army, seems like the room right now is doing its best wrestling as you all head into the IWA championships. Do you get that same vibe? Absolutely. Uh, we design our schedules, so we're wrestling our best when, uh, when it really matters the most. Army, pretty important. Always got to beat them. And then uh, now we're heading into conference and we're all all fired up. So it's a unique format. Obviously, it can be a very long day. Uh, what's the key over this two week period you all have had now to to peak for this uh, to try and get yourself ready for, you know, what could be and what you hopefully uh, have is the long day of wrestling. It's honestly, it's just going and knowing that you have what it takes and just wrestling hard, not getting too focused in other matches, worrying about yourself, going out there and doing your job. You have to guard against looking at the draw going, okay, I could do this. I could do this. I could do this and just make sure you take care of things period by period as these matches go on. Yeah, absolutely. It's a, uh, it happens every tournament. Someone's always looking ahead and they forget who they have first round and they go down. So it's important to not look too far ahead, stay in the present, focus on who you have, and then you can worry about your match once it's done. Obviously an accomplished background before you even arrived at the Naval Academy. The fact that you you know live this tournament lifestyle I don't want to say it makes it easier, but at least from a mindset standpoint, this is somewhere you've been before. How much has that preparation, obviously coming from a tremendous wrestling background and wrestling area, how much has that prepared you for what you've you know encountered so far now uh, in two years at the academy? It. I try to just look at it like it's another tournament. Yeah, the guys might be different, but same tournament, same um, sort of – like warm up, everything like that. Everything's the same. It's just guys in college singlets. So it's just going there, forgetting what what has happened in the past, present, whatever, and just wrestling a match at a time. You know, one thing I love talking about with our wrestlers, fitness, nutrition, things of that nature, the challenge of staying, you know, at the weight class that uh, you're wrestling at, the discipline that it takes, and what's been the key for you? What are What are some of the the foods that are like go-to foods for you to make sure that you get nutrition, but at the same time, you're trying to maintain uh, that weight that you've got to stay at. Honestly, for me, it's, I like eating healthy, I like eating, eating my greens, eating my fruits and vegetables. Um, I've been on a big overnight oats kick recently. <laughs> it, it's uh, just throw some fruit in there. And it's been really good for me. What's the favorite fruit and what's the favorite vegetable? Ooh, favorite fruit is definitely grapes. Favorite vegetable. I'm a big roasted carrot fan. I love roasted carrots. Wow. That's an, uh, you know, I, I'm a huge carrot guy. Um, had, can you, can you, can you eat raw carrots or does, does it have to, does it have to be warm? Cause carrots, one of those, the, those vegetables, it's a little different, big difference between cold and between, uh, warmed up a little bit I mean typically I eat them warm just because uh, I like to have like a nice hot meal like cooked and ready to go but um if there's carrots in front of me with like some uh, ranch dip or french onion dip it's it's game over <laughs> no doubt I'm with you on that look 33 wins now uh obviously through your first two years uh here at the academy what has allowed you to uh hit the ground running be successful and clearly try to meet the demands every day for a demanding coaching staff and a room that demands your best every day. Uh, honestly, it's just the team, team attitude. We, we always come in every day and we're always trying to get better. It doesn't matter whether you're the starter or third deep in the depth chart, everybody's clawing and scratching trying to get better every day. And that's just how, we do things. And I really like that. 
how much will last year's experience drive you here a little bit? Because especially as a younger wrestler, guy can lose his first match and really fold up mentally mm -hmm. as much as physically. Uh, you didn't do that last year. You obviously were able to bounce back uh, and, and find three wins after that opening uh, match loss. But how much does that drive you and help you maintain focus, as you mentioned earlier, on match number one to get this thing started on, on Saturday? It, uh, I, I try to look at that as a learning moment. Uh, you have to wrestle a lot more matches and you're a lot more tired when you're coming through the backside like that. Uh, so this year we're going to get through round one and then we'll go from there. That, that, that's my goal right now. <laughs> yeah. Is that more of a, a mental thing on a day like that or a physical thing? You know, when you lose that first match, because I mean, like you, you've talked about, you've been in these tournaments before. Mm -hmm. But is it more of a mental thing or a physical thing when you've got to encounter that long day like that? It's absolutely mental. Uh, you've done all the preparation. You're a few hours after weigh-in, so you, you're, your body's ready to go. Uh, it's just a matter of whether this wants to go or not. So, if, Obviously, at this level, everyone is good. You know, you, again, tremendous amateur background, certainly, to – help prepare you for this, but with what you've encountered now through two years in one of the toughest uh, wrestling uh, conferences and regions uh, in the country, has it been everything that you, you thought it would be so far? Yes, absolutely. That in, and, and more, uh, definitely EIWAs are a hard one and this year they're going to be even harder with uh, the Ivy leagues in them, but I'm super excited for it. Now everything seems to kind of be going away with uh, schools not competing with coronavirus, but now it's it's full gears ahead, which I'm excited for. You got an amazing head coach, a guy that had, didn't lose very much individually as a wrestler, quite frankly, in his background. To have that guy to lean on, to have the staff that you have uh, to lean on, how much have they helped you even improve even more uh, as an, a guy that was accomplished coming into the program, but how have they helped you improve even more now through your first two years here? They are probably just some of the most positive people I've met in my life. And no matter what, they're just, they're just looking to take small steps forward. And it's kind of funny. You can look back throughout the season and just see like small little mistakes and they were, we were just kind of slowly working on one or two things. And by the end of the season, you're, you're jumping feet. Uh, and that's what they do. They, I think the expression is iron sharpens iron. Uh, they're the best in the business. And we're that, that fresh iron just coming out of, <laughs> out of high school. And they're the old weather iron. So, um, so yeah, they just, they just help us so much by being such a positive um, influence on us. I love talking to the individual sport athletes from this standpoint, you know, unless you get an injury or some blood or something, there's no timeouts, you know, mm -hmm. it's just you, the opponent, the mat, the circle for, you know, seven minutes, hopefully in, in your case, you can get a fall and, and shorten that time up. But, you know, being that individual, you know, warrior out there in, in the middle of that circle, what is that feeling like? Take us inside that circle because you know, a lot of us have played team sports, but but wrestling is as difficult as it comes in my mind because of the physical, the mental demands. Um, you can be good. Your opponent could be better. Uh, just take us inside what that that is like for that, that seven minutes that you're out on the mat. It's, uh, it's seven minutes of almost like a war. It's you and the other guy – whose wills are battling against each other. And it, to me, I love it because I can only count on me. And like, I don't have another teammate or something that might make a play that will help me. It, it's all, it's all on me. The coaches, yeah, they can say stuff from the, the corner, but it's your actions and what you mentally can do on the mat is what makes a difference out there. One thing I've observed, obviously, broadcasting a lot of wrestling matches here, you have an opponent that's in a stalling posture. How do you fight that challenge, you know, of wanting to, to maybe do too much and almost, you know, get yourself in a bad spot? 
you know, how do you fight that mental part there where when a guy's really not doing anything uh, against you and, and clearly you're trying to make something happen because you're trying to win the match? Uh, it's, it's definitely a hard situation. Like you said, you don't want to overexert yourself and do something dumb or not rash. And it's, it's just taking a step back clearing your mind and just be like, okay, I just need to keep peppering away at this kid slowly wearing on them and then, then get to your offense. It's uh, when that happens is definitely a little more strategic, but um, it's what you have to do. Who have been the most influential people, you know, in your path, helping you get to where you've gotten so far? Um, definitely, definitely Mike Evans. He, uh, him and I work a lot closely together. So he, uh, he's helped me through every step of since I've been here. He, uh, like after every matches or match practice, he's coming up. He's telling me little things to work on or him and I will get on the mat doing some technique one day. And, uh, he's definitely helped a lot. Andrew, appreciate the time. Best of luck to you and your teammates at the IWAs coming up this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate it.